how's it going guys? My name is Sir Awesome Po And welcome back to Pokeburst So today I'm here to answer one question that everybody has on their mind when playing Pokeburst That is a pay to win person <laughs> Is the season pass worth it? Now when you're looking up when you're looking up to buy a season pass it tells you that season pass is most worthy so I'm over the courses over the course of the next week or so depending on how long the season pass is because this is the first time getting it I will I'll be able to tell you is the season pass worth the $10 that you pay for now no, I'm no stranger to buying season pass. I buy buy them for Clash Royale and Clash of Clans for both for five dollars each. So this is twice that amount for one game. So I'll, at the end of this, I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. So you get a hundred rewards, as you can see. Like rewards one is shiny Gengar, number two is a a what badge, and then etc. etc. So so. As as we're gonna as you're gonna see right now, we're gonna buy the badge right away. So all I do is go do. I already bought the redeem, by the way. Do redeem pass. Oh shoot! A lot of those just bought the. Yeah, redeem ten. Yeah, redeem ten redeems. You should have your reward now. Enjoy and thank you for donating. Yes, delivered redeem the season pass. Now you can use Season SSS Challenge. So you have successfully completed a Redeem Challenge level up to your Season Pass of 1. Also, you already got the Shiny Gengar. So right away, you just... Right away, you get Shiny Gengar. I got a badge. And I got a Breeding Cooldown Reset. 5 Ultimate Balls. And one day a premium. One master ball. 20,000 in player AXP. 50 reps. 50,000 gold. And a shiny Luxray. Oh, a bat. Uh, a lovey badge. 50,000 gold. So just from uh, getting the pass, you already got 12 tiers. That's interesting. And I leveled up to level 16. So it seems that we're already getting a lot of the a lot of the rewards just from buying the badge. So that's actually pretty nice. I don't have to really work for the first 12 tiers. So now we can now that we actually got the pass, we can get season and season challenge. So SS and SC. So let's see what they actually do first. So we're gonna do SS. So that's gonna show up the next tier. And it actually crosses out the thing that the thing that we we already completed. So that's very nice. So the next tier reward is the breeding cooldown. So what we need to do next is do SC to so see season challenge. And we had to catch an electrode and kill 50 electro types. So first we need to find an electrode. So find P electrode. And look for any common. So we can go to R19 L9. R19 and L9. And let's see if we can find an electrode. Oh, first one. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Glade, and I'm gonna use Ball Swipe, and I'm gonna just catch it with a normal Pokeball. Nope, don't have a Pokeball, so I'm gonna do buy 101. Catch it with a normal Pokeball, and I got the. Uh, I got the thing and we got the challenge complete. So now it's telling me that I got that done. So I'm gonna do an SC. It says your next weekly challenge breed a female magnetism. Don't have one, I'm gonna have to buy one. And next thing I do is kill 50 types. 
So, if I'm not if I'm not wrong, an electrode is an electric type. Yeah, electric. So, I'll be right back as soon as, soon as I kill fifty of these little guys. So now that I'm back, as you can see, I only have one electric type left. So all I gotta do is one last time, do dot it, prefix X, and kill this electrode, and we got the season complete. We got the season tier complete. So five ultimate balls for completing this tier. So if we do SC, we got we got the catch it catch using a super ball three times and then breed a magnet zone so what I have so what I have to do is go to our let's go to R1 S1 I guess and then we have to catch it we have to catch it with a super ball So apparently I don't have any super balls, so I have to go buy some. So buy 104. And we have to do this three times. So so three so I bought three super balls. Let's do a C4. Okay now. F F6 to fall swipe it. C4. Okay, gotta be kidding me. C4. Okay, I'm gonna need to buy more Super Balls. So I'm gonna buy 10 this time. Buy 104.10. So C4. It's at one HP. Come on. C four. Okay, let's try that again. So F six. The false swiper, then, then do a C4 to use the super ball on it. That's one. Then release 248. Release 248 160. And then uh, let's do it again. So F6 is pulse wiper. 
I just F6 C4 Release G21 Spawn it Ball Swiper Catch it And we got the next here So season pass level up you successfully completed level 15 you get one premium day for completing this tier so if, if you can see here we got if we do pf now i have two premium days on my on my profile so next thing we have to do is the next sc so catch a lucky pokemon i could do that i could do that but breed a female magnetism so I don't have any magnetisms. Find one name magnetism. Make sure I spell that right. Yeah, I don't have one. So let's go to marking and buy one. Magnetism. Put the thing there. And we have to look for a female one. So there's only two available and one's a shifter and one's a lucky. So I'm not gonna have this for long. So I'm gonna do market buy one, two, five, three, one, six, nine, seven. For 300 gold, 300,000 gold I should say. And 160. But buys a magnet zone, so find one name magnet zone. So that's number 32. Find one name ditto. So it can be B9932. So B9932. And there we go. We got a baby magnet zone. And we got a we got a master ball for completing this tier. Twelve tiers just to begin with, and then you got we completed four more tiers in this video. So so far it's a great 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 value for your buck, but then we're just getting started, so so I'll be completing some of these challenges on my off time. But I'll keep you updated and I'll be posting another Pokebirth video very soon I'm gonna show you an update how it's going. But for now, will you be a follower friend? That's bring you to the side. See you guys.